We want to solve the limit as x, y, and z approach 0 of x, y, z over x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Notice if I plug in 0 for x, y, and z, I end up with 0 over 0. So I want to use spherical coordinates here. So x is rho sine phi cosine theta. Y is rho sine phi sine theta. Z is rho cosine phi. And instead of x, y, and z approaching 0, we're going to have rho approach 0 from the right. Rho is the radius, so it can never be negative. So that's why we're approaching 0 from the positive direction. So we're going to make this uh, substitution. Now we're going to simplify. So on the top, we have three r's. When you multiply that, you get r cubed. And then we have two sine phi's. That's sine squared phi. And then cosine phi followed by cosine theta sine theta. In the denominator, we're just going to square everything rho squared sine squared phi cosine squared theta rho squared sine squared phi sine squared theta and then rho squared cosine squared phi so note that this is going to simplify to just rho squared but to get there we need to do some work So let's factor out a rho squared sine squared phi from the bottom, and we're left with cosine squared plus sine squared theta, and then plus rho squared cosine squared phi. And then the top, we're just going to copy it. And then what's in the parentheses is just 1. But notice that I can factor out a rho squared from the denominator. So it's rho squared and then sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi. And the top is rho cubed sine squared phi cosine phi cosine theta sine theta. So then again, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. So the bottom just turns into uh, a rho squared. But I have rho cubed over rho squared is just rho. So then I'm left with rho times sine squared phi, cosine phi, cosine theta, sine theta. And then if I plug in rho equals 0, I end up with my limit at 0.